Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. Today on the channel, I've got some industry experts here. We've got Ron right there. He's from Midwest Automotive Designs hey slash, slash American Coach. And we have Nick from Sunshine State RV. Yes. We are going to talk about the state of the industry. Is the bubble popping? What's going on? <laughs> Gas prices, etc. Let's get all into it right now. Guys, I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, Promaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus, you can get Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one. So here we go, titans of the industry. People are asking, people are talking about it. What's going on, guys? Yeah, it's a great time to be in the RV industry still. As a dealer, as a manufacturer, there's a lot of inflation, there's a lot of talk in our economy right now mm -hmm. we are seeing prices still rise on the rvs following inflation it, it is yeah. following in the inflation but we're not seeing the demand be any less mm -hmm. you know the manufacturer seems like they're catching up the production which which is good yeah it's good for everybody shortages are happening you know the shortages mm -hmm. all those sort of things are starting to get back together yes we actually manufacture yeah. these in One terms thing, of parts and stuff like yep. that and then the chassis getting finished right yeah there's nothing more than i hate than having a customer that wants an RV and I can't give it to them. You know, so now that we have inventory here and we have RVs we can sell people, this is like the best time ever because the demand is still there. We had our second busiest month ever last month in June of 2022. It was our second busiest month we've ever had at Sunshine State RVs. And that's when supposedly everything's busting and bursting and it, yeah. and all this stuff's going. Yeah, gas prices are rising, but yeah. but that doesn't so are change. People are you travel. slashing? Are you? Because look, prices went up a lot. Prices right. went up a in lot. the last couple yeah. of years because yep. of all the things going on. Yeah. Are you slashing prices? I mean, the definition of slashing prices. We have more inventory, so we're able to to sell things at normal prices where before we had no. We had six RVs on this lot at you one had to point. Slow down demand. Now yeah. we yeah. have. 50 new RVs here, which mm -hmm. is great. I mean, I mean, this is the best we've been in years. Mm -hmm. And so the product is, is here, The and now it's better than ever. The customers still want them. I mean, there is mm -hmm. still a high demand for Class B RVs. I hear travel trailers are struggling. Travel trailers are dead I hear water. Class, Class A's, A's are struggling. Are here at Sunshine State RVs, the Class B's overall is the only market that is still climbing. I mean, are what? you hearing the same thing yeah. in Elkhart? Uh, absolutely. So, as a market standpoint, it's always been underutilized, Class mm -hmm. B market. And it's been growing 20% every year because of that. Mm -hmm. So now we're still actually probably seeing growth, Yeah. right? Sure, it's not COVID years, mm -hmm. but um, we are the only kind of market that's still doing well, doing yeah. growing. RV market is down right now. I mean, it's recession, so leads are good. Nobody needs what we're selling. Yeah, but I mean, those are just facts. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just how it's going, yeah. right? And prices, yeah, they're continues to keep going up. Obviously, it's not just us manufacturers. Our right. supply, Mercedes mm -hmm. giving extra money. Mm -hmm. It's all these things. We are mm -hmm. getting better parts now, so the supply is going up. Overall, the health of the Class B market is still pretty good. I don't expect discounts may go further because, again, like what Nick just said, yeah. there's more supply. But this is the thing, though. For me to keep good employees, I'm having mm -hmm. to pay them more. Correct. Yeah. So, I'm having to pay more. My utilities are up here. I fill every single one of these things up with gas every time we sell it. That just went up. So all of our costs are going up. For us to slash prices, I can't give raises to our employees no. and, mm -hmm. and put the gas and, and provide the level of customer service that we do. And I don't know a lot of dealerships that are slashing prices that I've no. seen some people things talk about. Things aren't falling off a cliff. No, is what you're saying, not right? at all. I mean, yeah. with the, if you're looking I mean, for a travel trailer, mm -hmm. yes, the, it, potential, it's falling yeah, off a cliff. You can get a good deal on a travel trailer right now. Yeah. You can get a good deal on a Class A motorhome right now. Mm -hmm. but so why is here that? Can you guys that. discuss that? Obviously, that's what both of you do in yep. the Class B section. That's, yep. yeah, that's your thing. Why do you guys think in Class Bs it's a little bit different I than we get in this weird? Okay. Right. So first, it fuel pricing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fuel prices went up. You would think, okay, people are going to stop RVing. 
while not the most fuel efficient RV out there. Right. <laughs> Sounds right. like a commercial. Yeah, yeah. it does a little bit. But it's true. I agree with that, right? Yeah. If you're in right? a big Class A and and it's costing you three hundred bucks to mm. fill it, and this okay. costs a hundred, and you know. my kids used our jet skis for one day. It uh -huh. costs like hundred and twenty five dollars oh, yeah. in gas. Yeah. For the kids used a few jet skis for a half a day. I mean. Gas is expensive, but flying's double what it was a year ago. Mm -hmm. Flying prices? Right. Oh yeah. Plane tickets are double. Come any see used tough, man. Any any other way? Well, we pay for plane tickets. Yeah. Not mine. Well, not you. <laughs> but uh -huh. if anyone's spending money with, I spend uh -huh. money with you. Yeah, so true. you should pay for my plane ticket. Oh boy. So, okay. So listen, there are a lot of people that still don't want to fly. <laughs> We've still got uh, COVID and things like that out there. Yes. It's tougher. People like the seating is tighter. There's lots of cancellations There's so because of gas prices. Mm -hmm. There's so much comfort in taking your RV with your stuff where you are going. Mm -hmm takes a little longer sometimes, but when you're talking about cancellations, there's never been more cancellations in the flight in the airline industry than, than right now. Mm -hmm. So you know when you get in your RV, you know within a 10% margin what time you're gonna hit where you're going. The people who value their time, they appreciate that. Absolutely. I'm not in the business of selling stuff. I'm in the business of, of giving people information on it. You you guys are in the business you are of building. You're a van no sewer. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. right there. Uh, you, but you're building them and you're selling them. Yes. What do you think about when you hear all this stuff and everyone's crazy and they think they're going to come in here uh -huh. and get something that, what's the, like, the average price of these is somewhere like 150 They think they're going to get it for like 75000 or something like that. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Would you say if they wait, it's gonna eventually well, it's just happen? Gonna go up. Or? I mean, we're, no. we no. just in the last okay. month, no. I've gotten price increases from Winnebago, from Coachman, from from almost every mm. manufacturer we deal with has passed down a price increase in the last month. Okay. So even though inflation's high, gas is high, interest is high, RV manufacturers are still raising their prices. I mean, they're they're not stopping right now. Yeah. Everything's just more. Like I said. They have to pay their guys more. Correct. Yeah. Their guys have to pay more to get gas to get to work every day. So they have to raise their prices. So nothing's getting cheaper, Hank. Yeah. Nothing is getting cheaper. If you're like, I know I'm looking at this, and there nothing. are nothing. There's there's and still your life getting cheaper. No. Right. no <laughs> but but there's not. also no. still no. vehicles, no. No. guys. Uh, there's still vehicles that folks have problems like completing those vehicles because of parts. Mm -hmm. So there's some uh, some recalls, chassis. Yeah. yeah, like uh, even the, getting the transits out yeah, there is not absolutely. super easy. What about the used market I think that has there, there's folks out there saying the numbers like the prices the used prices have come down a little bit maybe a little bit that, uh -huh. but I think it's still the same supply demand situation okay. going on right there is more supply now so yeah. the, it's going down but the class B market isn't really dying right now yeah and I think you know we talked about this very beginning of COVID mm -hmm. we were talking about how okay well after all this is said and done you know things are gonna start coming down there might be way too many out there well angry it's over we're yeah. post COVID now. All of our other classes of RVs have already died. Yeah. And, and class B has so not strong. changed yet. Yeah. You know what what I'm seeing in the used market, Hank, is mm -hmm. is that because the new prices have kept going up, mm -hmm. the used prices kinda like if someone has a three year old RV, there's a good chance it's worth about what they paid for it. Like yeah. like yes. it, it's it's still pretty strong because three years ago these things were twenty percent cheaper. Yeah. And so if you have a three-year-old RV with very low miles on it, it's just, you know, it didn't st st stay where, where you paid for it and then drop from there. Yeah. It's it's probably somewhere yeah. right around Also, so guys like me, prices. I have a Ford Transit. I'm not coming out of it for anything, which is well, a, which you is would a weird... if I offered you a million dollars for it. A million dollars, I'm in. Is mine? I'll take I a half a million. Rack, if, you know, <laughs> knowing that it's owned by Hank you. Strange, <laughs> it's worth no, a lot of dough. That's why people won't want it. A yeah. lot of dough. So, okay, so to wrap this up, I know yeah. there's going to be some people out there like, hey, these are the industry guys. I think you're saying the same thing I see other folks saying. I mean, what's the wrap up we've had our this, second best month we've ever had mm -hmm. in June of 2022, it's kind of hard to, for, for me to hear everyone say the industry's dead the bubbles burst and like every time I hear that I kind of snicker because I got a line of people wanting to buy RVs still yeah and and I got RVs that, that I can't get enough of them here I can't get enough four transits I can't get enough four by fours every one of these four by fours we get we sell in a day I just can't get enough yeah and so to hear this bubbles bursting I, I mean some of it may be like yeah. you said the A's and trailers in the RV industry it's but probably I think leveling the bees, off but yeah. the van, van life has van been life. like skyrocketing for lots of good reasons yes so. yep. yes yep. all right any final words from you guys no. No? You want to get out of the heat, don't you? Dude, it's hot. It is hot. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, listen. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys taking the time yes, sir. to talk about it. Good I hope time, folks man. out there enjoy this info. You know, listen. 
if you're into this, if this is really what you want to do, it's to me, it's about the freedom and stuff like that. So right. I think you need to balance like, do I want to get the cheapest price in the world or do I want to get out there and live my life and do what I, I want to do? I tell people that every day. And that's what it is. Is it about the money or is it about the experience and the life you get to live? And, yeah. You know. Yeah. If you're all about the deals, keep yeah. waiting. At buy some point. A class a, yeah. Buy a travel trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At some point it may happen. I, uh, seriously. At some point, if, you, if you've got a price in your mind, it may happen, but you might not get to live the life. So that's, that's my take on it. It's a pretty good yeah. one. Yeah. All right, yeah. guys. Thanks, Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Let's go on and do some more videos. We're out of here. Peace.